There's a perception that manufacturing is rigid, traditional, but Grow Ever seems to break that mold. What's your say on that? Well, don't you think that's a bit old fashioned? I certainly think so. Hi Rajat, your company Grow Ever began with steel tubes and today you're powering components across industries. What sparked that evolution and how did you decide what to build next? So Grow Ever started in the year 2008, but ever since inception, steel tubes was never the destination. It was always going to be the foundation. Over the course of the years, we had realized that the customers wanted more than steel tubes. They wanted a dependable partner. They wanted someone they could rely on. And that's where Grow Ever stepped in year after year. We, more than being vendors, we wanted to become partners to them. And that's the confidence that they uh, bestowed time and again on us. So as in what they wanted, we started developing that for them to fill the gap and to become someone who is reliable, who is trusted and who can always go the distance along with them. And to add to that, uh, in the on the course of the years, we realized that the steel was not a core focus. It's always going to be the precision that we bring across in our steel. And that is something that we want to add to our component uh, line as well. So the expansion wasn't random. It was engineered from customer demand, right? Absolutely. We listened to our customers. We listened to each and every word that they said. Clients didn't want multiple vendors giving them different parts every day. They wanted a single engineering partner that they could focus on, they could trust and build a relationship with. And that's where again Grover stepped in to fill the void. So we invested in vertical integration in automation, not because we wanted to be modern, but we wanted to invest in what the clients wanted and what's the client, what the client actually deserved to get. So yeah. There's a perception that manufacturing is rigid, traditional, but Grow Ever seems to break that mold. What's your say on that? Well, don't you think that's a bit old fashioned? I certainly think so. I definitely know that manufacturing is more than just, you know, rigid machines and difficult systems. But while systems are built on the shop floor, the culture, the culture comes from the ownership of the company. And that's what we uh, believe in. So you will never get quality by policing about it, right? You can only get it when each and every individual on the shop floor raises a red flag and says, no, this cannot leave the factory because there's a quality issue on that. Right? That's when you talk about quality because it's ingrained in the culture of the company. For those who don't know, how would you explain what Grow Ever manufactures today? So we manufacture as ERW's precision steel tubes. We expanded by manufacturing engineered components. We supply to companies or industries, particularly like the automotive, furniture, uh, you know, the aerospace engineering. Uh, these are the companies or these are the industries that we supply to. But over the years, what we realized because of the industry that we service is that the best thing that we manufactured was reliability. And that's where, uh, you know, we created a niche for ourselves. And that's something that we are inherently very proud of at the moment. Uh, we do exist in the background, but more than that, we we'll, you'll always see our name in the forefront. Tell me about your new plant in Uluberia. It's a big move. What does it unlock for Grow Ever? Well, it's not just a plant. It's a signal. It's a signal that Grow Ever is ready. It's a facility that will give you lean systems, lean pro green processes, and scalable automation. Right? We built it with we built it for where the world is moving towards, towards customized solutions and towards uh, shorter lead times. And we at Grow Ever wanted to be a part of it. Okay. So I, for one, believe in Make in India. And at Grow Ever, we want to be part of the rise in Indian engineering, not by, just by volume, but by, by value also. Let's talk about sustainability. Most manufacturers see it as a compliance issue. What's your view? So sustainability isn't just a checkbox. It's a cost advantage. When you optimize your processes, you, are, you reduce your waste, right? And that improves quality and you obviously save energy. But beyond that, it tells your team, we are here to last. And if you are here to last, obviously you cannot cut corners, right? And with that clarity comes the angle of sustainability as well. For anyone in the steel or component manufacturing space watching, what's one thing you wish more of them understood? I absolutely think that we should stop chasing volume and now start chasing value. You know, you need to build a team who actually believe in you and the vision that you have for your organization and your company. It's a team that you need to build with trust uh, that flows absolutely, you know, uh, smoothly between uh, uh, both channels of uh, communication. And because any scale or any growing without a soul in its place 
will never is never going to last and precision without any purpose is absolutely useless so yes rajat this has been more than a conversation it's a blueprint you've shown how manufacturing can evolve without losing its core thank you well thank you thank you for having me over here and the future of indian in manufacturing is in great hands we are evolving and with great systems great vision and a great team i think grover is part going to be a part of that growth story